Hi, this is Nito61, and this is my deep dive into the new Beat Together test builds, including all the new features that we're going to be seeing, hopefully very, very soon. And uh, another thing I want to get out of the way is I'm a support in the Beat Together server, and one of the questions I get every day is, is it out for the latest version? And no, and people ask, why does it take so long? And one of the reasons for that is the server changes. In 1.16.4, everything changed from peer-to-peer -to, -peer to dedicated servers. If you know, you know what that change means. If you don't, know that everything needed to rewrite. Second thing is MQE. I'll be getting into that a bit later. Third thing is joint release. Uh, the people behind Beat Together want to make sure that everything is on the same version when released at the same time. Um, that's the point of Beat Together is cross-play, and so that's a major thing. Um, I know it's... I know it's taken a long time, but trust me, it is worth the wait. Without further ado, let's get into the video, starting with the PC side. Alright, so on the PC side of things, we can see that basically nothing has changed. We have the normal buttons, we have our server selector up here. We have, we could go into and create a server. We can see, we can see that basically nothing has changed. We have all of our multiplayer extensions options here, our single player HUD, the toggle for the hologram for first place, the lag reducer, which simply just makes notes not appear for um, the other players' notes not appear for you. And then we have miss lighting, which lights up a player's bridge who misses. It's quite nice. And all of these features have been in multiplayer extensions in the past. The only thing that is going to be needed to be noted is that we have these noodle and chroma maps that previously did work. They will be locked. Um, during the release because the quest doesn't have access to these mods and if one person is playing with them and one person without it kind of breaks things really really badly so those are going to be gone and without further ado let's move to the quest okay so for this next part we're going to have to look at the quest and i've searched reality check through the skull here and i don't have it and this would be a problem if i wanted to play it with somebody in multiplayer or somebody picks in the multiplayer and I don't have it. That is until the brand new quest mod that's coming out now called MultiQuest Extensions. This is a port of the PC mod multiplayer extensions and its chief feature is auto song downloading. So as we can see in this scenario, the PC player has picked Reality Check to the Skull, which I don't have. We saw that. Normally, or at least under previous versions, the game would softlock upon starting the song. It's really annoying. You have to make sure the song's the same beforehand. But in this case, once the game starts, the lobby will stall on zero until the song is downloaded, and you'll see it being done because the song loader will refresh right there. Aside from auto-downloading, we first have this color button. This allows us to switch the color of the platform we're currently standing on, and this is seen by anyone else that's in your lobby. I have mine set to orange right now, but you can do it to green, or blue, or any other color you like. This delete downloaded button is really nice, and it goes really well with the new auto-downloading feature on the Quest. Any song that's downloaded during the time you're in multiplayer, pressing this button will delete all those songs, so you can not worry about your custom song folder being cluttered like that. It's really nice. Aside from that, we will have a custom songs toggle here for private lobbies for the host, and that's about it. For the astute among you watching, you already know what the final reveal is, and that is Quick Play. That is right, Quick Play is coming to both the PC and Quest with the new versions of Beat Together, Multiplayer Extensions, and MultiQuest Extensions. This is such a huge quality of life improvement, I know a lot of people have been waiting for up until now, and mostly couldn't be done for server reasons, and for the fact that Quest didn't have auto-downloading and would softlock at any time. But now, it just makes it easy to just hop in and play with people. It makes organizing lobbies, unless you want to do that, a thing of the past. The only downside is no modifiers, but honestly, it's still amazing. I would really just like to end this video with a thank you to Lori, to Kev, to Gooby, to Ender, to everyone who contributed in bringing these mods to us in the past and is continuing to work on them now for, for future release for all these amazing features. I've had the privilege of being able to test these test this mod, and I really just wanted to say thank you. And Kev, please do correct me on anything else that I got wrong in this video. I have linked the Beat Together Patreon, which I don't get a kickback from, by the way, below. That will be for the mod, for that for the for Kev and everybody else maintaining the mod. And I have also linked the Discord. If you want to come join, say hi, say hi to everybody, give them your thanks. And without further ado, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you've disliked it, that button works just as well.
but I will see you guys next time.